Good morning. We are sadly leaving Havar Island today. So we've got about a 30 mile, 35 minute ferry crossing now. So crossing a much smaller part of the channel. And we'll be back to the mainland and then we're heading down towards uh, Dubrovnik where we're gonna have dinner. So we have made it to Dubrovnik and we are jumping on board one of these lovely boats down here and we are going to be doing a sunset cruise. So we get dinner on the boat and um, we'll hopefully see the, the old walls and the old city from the water. So we just saw the beautiful sunset. I think we picked a hell of a night to do the sunset cruise because those reds and those yellows and the big sun just disappearing behind the horizon was an absolutely perfect way to end our first night in Dubrovnik. Bit of a walk through the old town at night. been a perfect introduction, perfect evening. So we'll see you back in the morning. Good morning, we are back in Dubrovnik for our beautiful morning tour. We're going to go around the city and then hopefully climb up the walls as well. December 6th was the worst day of attacks, granted it was an attack which lasted for 24 hours straight and uh, there was shooting from the planes and from the ships and from the land, from the thing. But in fact, this is the house at 3.20 in the afternoon. It had just caught on fire, as you can see on the third floor. This is the same house, but from the corner, um, later, in the, later in the evening. So, this tells you enough about the kind of reconstruction that needed to be undertaken. There was a lot of buildings with completely damaged roofs. It's 
So this is the um, Church of St. Blaise, which is just a cool name. And he's the patron saint of Dubrovnik. So just behind me is the staircase where Cersei started her walk of shame. I just feel like I'm going to go and shoot. It's so pretty though. So we're up on the walls and the views are just 100% worth it. It is absolutely gorgeous from up here. I think one of my favourite things is that um, about 70% of this was sort of bombed during the 90s and you can see the damage because all of the houses that had their roofs sort of destroyed have got this really bright orange um, coloured tile whereas the older ones, you know, five or seven hundred year old tiles are really sort of quite a brown dull colour. You can just see how much of the city was actually kind of destroyed. Alright, we are up at one of the turrets now, so one of the highest places. You can probably see what the view looks like behind me. It's not cheap to climb the walls, but it's so worth it. I could just do this all day. It's spectacular. All right, we are sadly now leaving Dubrovnik. Um, we are jumping on about a 40 minute boat ride to a little village called Savtat, which is just down the coast. I think it's supposed to be just a little quiet village, but we're looking forward to it because um, the problem has gotten super crowded now, so we're good to get some, some space. go for a bit of a swim here but it doesn't look like there's many sort of beachy places that you can jump in. There are people swimming around but there are a lot of urchins and things that I don't want to step on and there's no places that I can see get changed either and we are not in our bathes at the moment, we're in a bag so we'll see if we can find one otherwise we'll just sit by the water and, uh, and have some lunch. We found the spot, so we're going to jump in. Lunch time. 